Hello, everyone. I'm North Hempstead Town Supervisor Judy Bosworth, and I, along with our town board, are proud to present At Home with North Hempstead, a series of special programs for children, seniors, as well as entertainment for residents of all ages. I hope you enjoyed this special presentation and check back often for new content. Each year, National Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated from September 15th through October 15th. It recognizes the contributions of Hispanic Americans throughout our country. Join us as we celebrate all Hispanic Americans and the traditions that have influenced our nation. Hi, my name is Imani Russell, and I'm here with you today to cook for Hispanic Heritage Month. Just to give you a little background, my grandfather, Jose Johnson, is from Oriente, Cuba, and one of the staple dishes in our family is congre or moros y cristianos, also known as black beans and rice. And here's my mother who will be joining us today. Hi, my name is Councilwoman Viviana Russell, and as my daughter Imani mentioned, today we're going to be making black beans and rice, um, better known as congre is what we called it in our household. Um, so the ingredients for this recipe are, of course, rice. Um, we also have some freshly chopped garlic, some cilantro, onions, and peppers. Um, we also have some pepper. We also have whole oregano, cumin. Um, Lowry seasoning, you can use um, regular salt, but in our household, we typically use Lowry. Um, we have bay leaf um, and black beans. Um, you can use dry beans, but for today, we're going to be using canned black beans. Um, and so we are going to use a little bit of olive oil in our pot. And this pot has a story also. This pot has been in my family for over 40 years. I remember as a child growing up, this is the pot that my parents used to cook. And so I hope that one day I'll be able to pass this pot along to my children mm -hmm. and they'll be able to cook black beans and rice in it as well. And so we have our pot on and turn up the heat a little bit and we are going to saute all of our vegetables um, and then we're going to add some of the other ingredients. And so here we go. We're going to add in our onions and peppers. And we have our onions and peppers in. I'm just going to put this to the side. Um, and while that is sauteing, I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. And you can hear it sizzling. Um, we're going to add a little bit of the cumin in here. Add a little bit of cumin. It gives it a nice aroma and it smells so good. Yes. And so you can see this as it's sauteing in the pot. And also we have um, what I forgot to mention was bacon. And so because we're a vegetarian household, we have vegetarian bacon that I put in the pot, but traditionally it's made with fat back or regular bacon. And so while this is sauteing, you want your vegetables to get like a translucent consistency. And while that is sauteing, uh, we are going to add a little bit of oregano. put the beans in because you want the flavors to actually come out of all of your herbs and seasoning. Um, yeah, you just want it good. And you let it touch the bottom of the pot so it's on that direct heat and you can smell the beans when you guys are cooking. And you just let it touch the bottom of the pot here and then we just kind of mix it around in here. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because we don't want to burn. Now that is sauteing. We are going 
going to grab our beans, our canned beans, and you let this saute for about five minutes. And then you can add in your beans, and you leave the juice in it because it's the, the water off of the beans that actually gives the beans the, and rice the color that we have um, with our black beans and rice. So we just add a little bit of water to that because we're going to use that water for the rice. And we just let this cook for a little while so the beans can soak up some of that flavor. And this just smells so delicious. I can get that and you can, you can actually eat this without the rice. You can make it separately and enjoy it as a part of your meal. Um, it's just delicious. The flavors are just really, really good. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper in here while this is cooking. And we just continue to stir this. I'm just going to let this cook for about five minutes or so. So we're going to add some water into the pot and also some seasoning, some lorry seasoning, or you can use regular salt, um, but we typically use some lorry. I'm going to stir this up. And I just taste it. Okay, add a little bit more of the lorry. rice and we have two cups of rice um, we're using a basmati pot world rice um, it just gives it a nice flavor so you can add those in mommy 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 yes papa oh. and then we just stir this up and we're just going to leave this here we're turning the flame down a little bit and we we'll just leave this to cook. And so while this is cooking, something else that we usually make is plantains or maduros. It's fried sweet plantains. And so we have our plantains here. Um, you want them a little ripe. You see as it starts to darken and you can feel they're a little soft. And um, that's how you know that they're ripe to cook. And we just chop off the ink here and just slit it it makes it easier to cut and you just peel peel this off usually we'll take this skin off while i still have this on to keep it together i will just slice and you can make them how thick or thin you want show you how my mother used to do them you can put you can do mine just cut them more on a slant this way like this on an angle so that they're longer and more slanted and that's how my mother used to make them a little bit thicker okay. And so you can make them how thin or how thick you like, whatever your preference is. We're back. And so now we're going to add the cilantro. Okay. 
give it one last stir before we cover it. And these pots are very, very hot, so I actually need a pot holder so I don't burn my hand. And then after we finish stirring this up, we're going to cover it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And then after that, we're going to fry our plantain. Okay, here we go. We have our oil here. Um, you can just use regular vegetable oil. We have our plantain that we cut up. And we're just going to put them in here. Hands are clean. And just use it, just turn them over into the pot. And then separate them. You can use a fork or a knife. You just use the same knife that we're using to slice them and separate them in the pot. And we'll leave these to cook for a little while. Let them brown on each side and cook through. Mm -hmm. You can already see some of them are already starting to turn a little yellow. So plantains do cook fast, you don't need to cook them for long. And so you see our plantains are nice and fried. And they're going to be delicious. So I'm going to just take them out. And we put it on the paper towel just so it can soak up some of the oil as well. So here we have it, moros y cristianos, or congri, along with avocado and cilantro on the side, and our maduros, also known as plantanos. So we thank you so much for joining us, and we are about to eat dinner. Enjoy, and happy Hispanic Heritage Month.